thanks for tuning in to Vast AZ today. I am super pumped to kick off this new video series. We're doing a three liter stroker build. We've been working on this one for a little while, gathering video footage and stuff. We're gonna put together a complete series. I think we're gonna do maybe four parts. We're gonna release them every Monday. So I need you guys to hit that like and subscribe. Get in so that you can see our journey. So the three liter stroker build we're doing, it's complete, man. The customer wanted to go all in uh, no box was left unchecked. So it's doing a three liter stroker build using some really nice hardware. Uh, it's gonna be set up with one of our girdles, built cylinder heads, overhead hardware, overhead hardware, good Lord, I'm tired. Oversized hardware, we got oversized valves. Of course, the full gambit of springs and retainers and all of that. We're gonna do some custom work on the cylinder heads, which we're super excited to show you. That should be pretty neat. We're also gonna document some of the repairs along the way. These are things that you're gonna run into when you're dealing with 20 year old motors. You know, one of the things we found is broken cam caps. Front leading edge, you guys, if you've spent any time around two sevens, you know that's a common place for something to break. It's the first thing to hit. If you drop it, if you ship it, you name it, it's gonna get cracked and broken. And we've seen all kinds of dodgy repairs over the years. Just, we wanna stay away from that. So we're gonna do it right. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a repair on a cam cap. We're gonna weld it in. Now, of course you have to have the tools to do this, but we're gonna weld it in and send it through the mill and reshape it so that you have a proper gasket surface and it's still ready to go. Because if you don't know, those cam caps are very specific to that cylinder head. So you can't just take a cap from another motor and throw it on and think you're good to go. I promise it won't work. And if you haven't tried it before, you might, as soon as you do it, the cam won't even turn. So those things are line board from the factory. They're not meant to interchange from head to head. So we're gonna show you those, uh, all of our cleaning tips. I'm gonna show you some of the machine work that's involved. And in the end, hopefully you'll know all the steps and procedures that you need to do to have a successful build at home. I'll do my best to include uh, torque specifications, uh, any special directions given by Audi or perhaps by us, just tips alone. And, you know, I'm just, I'm hoping you're gonna have fun with this build. So, super pumped about it. Let's kick this off. We're gonna show you guys some stuff on teardown and what to look for. And then part two, we've been working on these cylinder heads for a little bit. We've got some neat little tricks up our sleeve that we've tried. We've brought them in for other arenas uh, in the go fast world that I've personally dealt with. So I like to incorporate some of those tricks because as you know, the Audi racing community, it's kind of small, especially in the States. I wouldn't say there's a ton of people, a lot of people in the new stuff, some people have given up on the B5, but we're, we're diehards here. So I'm still sticking with it, plan to stick with it for a long time. So I'm gonna show you everything I know along the way. So let's get this party started. <laughs> One of the other things we're gonna be doing on these cylinder heads is we're gonna be cleaning up this casting. So you'll notice in here, um, there is a lot of texture and graininess. And under normal conditions, it's not a problem. You know, it's not something that Audi was concerned with. However, um, one of the things that you have to be concerned with on cars that see a lot of prolonged high RPM exposure is you want to make sure that the oil drains back from the heads down to the block and to the sump as smoothly and quickly as possible. So we are going to go in here into all the areas. We're going to kind of clean those up, polish them out. I mean, if you look here, zoom in here, see if you can catch it. There are some really rough I mean, it's like 
looks like welding slag, honestly. So gonna clean that up, make sure it's good to go. And uh, yeah, give this baby every little chance it has to live a long, happy life in some abusive scenarios. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to part one. Again, I'm super stoked to show you guys everything that we did. Give me two days, get through the weekend. I got like 49, ugh, at least an hour worth of uh, footage to get through on the cylinder heads to show you what we did to them and show you all the neat little tricks and stuff that we find important to do. And then those babies need to go off to the machine shop. Got to duck them out because there's some serious mods we're doing to them. we will make sure they're good to go. Then part three, catch us for the actual block. Some of the stuff that we did, you saw in the intro, some of the things we checked, it's got a girdle, show you all the goodies that we installed, and uh, it's gonna be pretty sick. So again, hit the like, subscribe, get your fix on this three liter motor build so you know you can do it yourself or at least what you need to do at your house. Um, and then, you know, what you gotta have the machine shop do. So anyway, check you later. Have a good night, guys.